Good morning, everybody. My name is Terry. Welcome to another uh, podcast, uh, Tuesdays with Terry. You're talking to Terry Blachek, uh, and I'm live in Austin, Texas, where the sun is hot, the barbecue is sweet, and all the drinks are free if you're hanging out with me. So uh, come on on down to uh, the great uh, state of Texas. Come on down, visit us here in Austin, and uh, we'll treat you right and take care of you. And you treat uh, the city right and treat the folks here right. And uh, we got a good thing going on. Uh, Today, I want to chat chat with you and share with you uh, a little bit about what I call the discipline of follow-up. In uh, uh, last season, I spoke about uh, when in doubt, F you, right? Well, that was follow-up, right? The F you stands for follow-up. But today, it's more about the discipline of follow-up, and it's 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 a really important thing. And, and I'm bringing this up because I'm sharing with you some of the issues that I'm dealing with in my own organization. I'm kind of exposing that. And uh, I visited a couple of our studios and found out, you know, one studio had 42 uh, web leads leads and uh, nobody had followed up even one single time. I went to another studio and we had 73 web leads and, you know, the manager had those and they followed up one time, but not any more than that. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. So I tried to look up some statistics. I have some for you today. Did you know that 80% of sales happen between the fifth and the 12th follow-up? Only 2% of sales really happen in the first visit or the first contact. 2%. That means 98% happen sometime after that. And so if you do the, if you start looking into the details, here's what you're going to find out. 48% of salespeople only follow one time and then they stop. So I don't, I'm going to round up on that one, but go 50% of the people. So if you have, I've got 250 salespeople or sales associates, that means 50% of my sales associates only really follow up one time. Is that you? Am I talking to you? I hope not. I hope it's not my group I'm talking to. I hope that's somebody else's group I'm talking to. Uh, 68% of the people follow up twice. Twice. So if you go from 40, another 20%, another 20% will pick up and they'll go, okay, I'll follow up at least two times. 80% of the people give up after the third follow-up. 80%. So listen to this now, because this is profound. Now, I have to tell people what I say is profound, because they won't recognize it as profound unless I say this is profound. But what I'm about to say right now, man, this is profound, okay? Here it comes. If 80% of the people give up after the third try, what is your percentage of success if you do it the fourth time? That, in fact, is the low hanging fruit because most imagine 80 percent of the other people you're competing against, they've given up. But if you can do it four times, now you're in the top 20 percent of people and your chances of success are much greater because everybody else has quit. Now, if you do it five times, if you follow up five times, that's where the sales happen. Remember I said five to 12 happens right around Five to twelve. Now, if you do it six times, imagine yourself. I mean, I know this is, we're gonna go crazy. You do it six times. I mean, I'm telling you. Uh, oh my gosh, could you imagine what would happen if you followed up six times? I mean, there's nobody there but you knocking on the door, making the call, sending the text, sending the email. You're free and clear, baby. And by the sixth or seventh time, you become whether they do it now or do it later, you become the one that they remember because. You now have ingrained it that you are the one that follows up. Don't you personally want to deal with a company or a person or a salesperson or a representative that actually follows up? I know that I do. I know that I do. And so when you think about the discipline of follow-up, I got a couple questions for you. And the question is, how organized are you with your follow up? Number one, do you, when you get a prospect or you get a candidate that you think you might be able to change their life, you think you might be able to help them solve a problem or make a sale, do you have a plan for follow up? How organized do you say to yourself, man, I'm going to have to do this five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times? Does that even occur to you? 
I'm telling you, get that out in the front. And when you have your CRM, when you have your orange book, when you have whatever it is, your Salesforce that you're using, know that it is five to 12 times. Say that to yourself. You're not going to make it happen unless you follow up. And that's called discipline. Do the work today to enjoy the benefits tomorrow. How organized are you? Have you planned your day and you say, this is when I'm going to do my follow-up. I've generated some leads. All I've got to do is follow up. So if you're going to follow up, it's as simple as saying, setting yourself up, take a blank sheet of paper and say, what does the first follow-up look like? Is that a call? Is that a text? Is that an email? Is that a video? How creative can I be? And that's part of the problem with follow-up is people simply are not creative creative enough. I use the illustration of follow-up with dating. Now, if I uh, <clears throat> was in the dating world, I'm not, but I was at one time. But if I was in the dating world and I wanted to go out to the movies on a Friday night with a with a girl and I asked her out on a Tuesday and I said, hey, um, we, you want to go to the movies? And she says, yes. And I said, well, man, I'm, I'm going to do what Terry said. I'm going to follow up. And so the next day I follow up and I say, hey, it's Terry. I'm calling and I just want to make sure we're still on for uh, Friday night at, uh, you know, seven o'clock. And she texts me back and said, yes. And then the next day, Thursday, I said, hey, it's Terry. I'm calling now this time. And I said, I just want to make sure that I'm following up. And she would say, well, yeah, I told you yesterday. And I said, yes, when you asked me. And then if I did that again on Friday, what would she be thinking? She say, this guy's a psycho. He's a stalker. What's wrong with this dude? Maybe I shouldn't go out with him on Friday night. And so many salespeople believe that if they follow up too much, that they're getting pushy or they're stalking and they don't believe that. All I'm suggesting is if you follow up just for the sake of follow up, that's when people feel that way. So what's the solution? The solution is you need to get creative with your follow up. Getting creative with your follow-up are things like, could be a phone call. These are channels, phone calls, text, email. Those are all channels that you use. But how creative can you be? Maybe that person came into the studio and told you that they were interested in nutrition. And so you found a little article on nutrition. You take a, a, a picture of that and you text that and said, hey, I saw this little article on nutrition and I was thinking of you. Hmm, he was thinking of me about nutrition and I'm interested in nutrition. That was kind of cool. Maybe that person came in and did a complimentary workout and while they were working out, you videotaped them or you took a picture of their heart rate uh, and how many minutes they got in the orange zone or how many splat points and you take a clip, a picture of that and you send that to them. And he said, you know, it's uh, six o'clock. You were here yesterday or three days ago at six o'clock and man, I was just... Uh, Wondering if you're still thinking about getting involved in a healthy wellness program over here at Orange Theory Fitness. You see, that's the creative side of what's going on. You need uh, maybe to get a testimonial, somebody that's a member that has a very similar situation. Like maybe it was a mom that's really struggling with her schedule of taking the kids to soccer and taking the kids to activities and trying to fit in a workout. Talk to another mom and get a short 10 second, 30 second testimonial and send it on over. You see, that's getting creative. Maybe it's as simple as a handwritten note that you write down on a postcard and you just drop in the mail and you said, I was just thinking of you and uh, I didn't want to let another week go by without you taking some kind of an action on a healthier lifestyle. Your friend, Terry. I don't know exactly what it is about follow-up, but what I can tell you is this. Number one, it's about the number of times. And number two, it's about the creativity that you use. You know this for certain. People don't care how much you know until they care. Um, you're going to have to edit that. You know this for certain that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Stop trying to make the sale. I talked about that a week or so ago and start solving the problem. How do you solve the problem? Get connected with the person. Take a sincere interest in them and meet them at their level. Whatever they're interested in, speak to that. Stop talking about your membership. Help them solve their problem. So don't forget to be creative. 
Never do the same thing. Never keep saying, are you coming in? Do you want another workout? Are you still interested? Are you still interested? I wanted to follow up. You want, you know, that's just that that's because you lack creativity. If you're doing that and you look at your last five or six or 10 follow-ups and it's all saying the same thing, you lack creative creativity. You need to get creative. You need to go walk around the building, run around the building, get on a treadmill and put up to 15 miles an hour, get the blood flowing, get the endorphins going and get a little creative. Will you? Variety is the spice of life. You got to get creative. And remember this, time kills all deals. You let too much time go by, you're losing a deal. You let days go by before you do the second follow-up, you lost a deal. You let days go by before you do the third, you're losing a deal. You've got to be relentless at the follow-up, be creative. And so remember, again, just as a wrap up, I want you to be really successful. I hope, I trust, I believe that you can be successful. Believe in yourself. There's 300 million people on the, in the U.S. Nobody else is exactly like you. Believe in yourself. Believe in your creativity. Believe in your product. Believe in your services that you're offering. Get excited about it. Excite and invite. But man, can you do me a favor? Follow up. My name's Terry, I'm your friend.